Yo, what's up y'all bros? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a naturalistic live vivarium for a dart frog. So first, I started off with a 18 by 18 by 18 exoterra tank. Okay, so you wanna get two waterfall foam sealants and basically just shake them up and cover the entire background. Keep in mind that they are going to expand. So I usually with two of them, it's good enough. Okay, so you want to wait two days for it to dry and also keep it out of the heat because I did a mistake the first time. The first time I made my tank, I put it outside, let it dry just so I want to smell that. But the heat would just took it down. It basically just melted off of the background and just came down. And also it didn't, it didn't dry completely. So there were still some parts that were just all wet and they were just, it was, it just like, so when it dries, it still goes through the dry holes in there and then it just starts going out of the other side. It was weird. I should have recorded it, but keep it out of the heat. It'll save you some time and money. So after two days, you want to cut the entire foam layer because the silicone won't stick onto that foam on top where it's nice and smooth. You want it to be kind of rough, so make sure you cut the entire thing as shown in the video. So next up, you want to get the aquarium clear sealant. Make sure it's clear because the other ones will not stick. And then basically you cover the top, the whole background, the top layer. And also leave like this much at the bottom because there's no need to put some there. That is where the soil is going to go. So the mixture that I use for the background is Eco Earth and Sphagnum Moss. You can use rocks like pebbles, you can use bark, other kind of stuff on there, but I like to use just keep it basic with that. And also make sure your mixture is dried. I know it's common sense. If it's wet, it's not gonna stick onto the silicone, so don't do that. And then once you put it on the silicone, I usually just pat it down to make sure it sticks onto it, and I wait like a day for it to dry. So next up, you want to add your hydro balls. I usually use two bags of it. So basically what this is, you're going to fill up the bottom with hydro balls and that is a drainage layer. After that, you want to put a screen, just fitting the exact size of the tank. And then after that, you want to put the dirt on top. Now when you water your plants and mist the whole tank down, the water is going to go all the way down through the soil through the screen and onto the hydro balls. The hydro balls will absorb the water so it won't kill your plants because it won't be super wet or if it needs more water, then they can get it from the hydro balls.
So once you have put all your soil inside, you want to add your decorations and bring the tank to life. So what I do is put branches, bark, plants, and other kind of hides in there that he can hide in. So for the plants, I got them all from Josh's frogs. I believe there was like 12 plants that came in the mail. And then this, these plants are specifically made for dart frogs and for this size tank, the 18 by 18 by 18 exoterra tank. So they all fit perfectly in there. They won't grow too big. And then for the, for the branches in there, I put one branch going through the middle and then I put some bark on the side so they can be like a little bit higher distance for him to jump up there and then a little hut in there as well for a hide and then I have another um, another bark that's kind of like a pot so I can have plants growing out of that so so basically just get creative with it and bring it to life And for those of you that are interested in what plants I used, here are all the plants. Okay guys, and there you have it. That is how you build a naturalistic live aquarium for a dart frog. I still need to add some leaf litter inside of there, so I'll be getting that soon. Oh, and then I almost forgot that you also do need some lighting to keep the plants alive and then for your dart frog. I get these lights off of Amazon. Just type in aquarium plant lights, something like that, and then these should pop up. You can get some different kinds like this one over here from my Crested Gecko is color changing lights. Um, red. I mean, blue is really good for your plants and also white. I've heard red is good too, but I don't know if it's good for your reptiles or amphibians. So I usually just stick with um, blue and white. And this is my other other tank here if you guys are curious. Um, we still need to redo this because some of the plants were dying in here. This is the only good plant in here plus the other one here. So I'm going to be redoing this, buying some more plants. But yeah, guys, here it is. Make sure you guys get your lights to keep your plants nice and healthy. So today's post notification shout out goes to Pet Dynasty. So if you guys want to post notification shout out, be sure you guys go ahead and turn them on and then comment when done so that I know who has done that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and until next time guys, peace.